Haha. Ha. He can't stop. <laughs> it's why he's in the in the insane <laughs> asylum. Huh? Oh, he's back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what are back to what the hell? <laughs> I was going to say, man, these undead are all up on that forehead, man. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Aw, look at that. Nick's hugging his friend. The plague plushie. The... You got anything to say up there, Nick? He has officially turned into Kenny from South Park. <laughs> Just don't die on us, all right? I might. Nick's just sitting back there like, huh, death, don't threaten me. About, every, day, about every other day, I kind of feel like I might die. Uh, Again, that's your anxiety. Uh, I mean, just and your depression. I mean, generally, I mean, I don't have depression that bad. I, mean, I have seasonal depression, but it's more, it's more just like I feel generally unhealthy a lot. Well, I get that. and uh, I'm trying to work I've, on that a little bit. I have two. The past couple of years, it's been worse as I continually, like, just ate unhealthier and unhealthier and just gained a bunch of weight, and so I'm trying to go on a reverse path to that right now. Well, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed that I brought the uh, yoga mat over from my mom's house, and I've been actually in the living room doing yoga. Not hot yoga, because, you know, I don't want to suffocate y'all, because if, it, if it's hot in the living room, then it's scorching for y'all. Yeah. I've learned that. Um, but honestly, man, and the heater's it's... right under my bed. Mm -hmm. And I noticed somebody had the AC in last night, so I was like, my bed feels like an ice cube, but I'm okay with it. Mm. In all honesty, I'm just going to have and to then, get like, one of those. And like, when I woke up, the heater was on again, and I was like, I, I moved my face over to like one of the cracks where the heat blows up the side of my bed. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, whoosh, I was like, oh. oh. It's like, it feels like oh, if God. you went under my bed, it would be oh, like God. hell. Oh, God. Uh, well, for me... I woke up freezing, and I'm not, it wasn't me who changed over the the um, uh, the air conditioning. We need to get one that can. Uh, we'll probably have to have a second heat pump installed. Have one for this side of the house, and have one for that side of the house, and basically have it to where we can do zones. Like I want to keep my because zone. The layout of the house makes it so like all the rooms on that side of the house are like more open. Yes. So they require more of either heat or cooling to be hotter or colder. Yes. Whereas all the rooms over on this side of the house are small, so like if the heat or cold is on for just a minute, they adapt to that temperature quickly. Yes. And then they get overly well, hot. Well, my room's on. big. My room's like twice. So like, that's why I've been like, instead of just like turning the air conditioning on, if it's too hot, I've just been turning the heat off for a bit. Hmm. And usually it'll just kind of cool down with the outside temperatures more slowly. Which again, there's there's two things I'm planning on doing once I get once once my credit gets lined out. My two biggest things that I'm doing: number one, I am getting uh, solar panels for the roof of this house. I've actually scoped out with the uh, Sun AR uh app on here have you ever seen it the sun tracker i think you showed it to me yeah so basically you can track where the sun is going to be and right now in winter time uh you know i'll get fairly poor coverage you know but then uh i look here on uh i look here summertime and basically it goes straight over top of the house and it'll like give like prime juice like sun like good uh sun energy solar energy to uh the house and i'm also debating on getting one of those uh generac wall batteries for like battery backup just in case the power goes out and then also uh number two getting a second heating unit for this house because we've got one air conditioning unit now we need a second and i think we need a second one and then split them up one on one side one on the other and then i think we'll be fine have like the thermostat sensor for this side be like in somebody's small rooms. Well, I would say the thermos, yeah, the thermostat sensor, and also have a thermostat for your all side of the house, and then have a thermostat for my side of the house. I think that would be perfect. So that's the thing is, it's in the living room, which is a giant open area. Mm -hmm. So like by the right time, near the front door too. Where by the time it heats in. the living room to like sixty six, it's fucking seventy five in a in a small room. Like yeah, this other house. 
which which is not good. Yeah. And I think to fix that, we would need a second heat pump. But yeah, we'll anyways, get, like, we'll get there when we get there. I don't yeah, think anybody discussion. probably cares about any of this. <laughs> Who cares, dude? Oh, in all honesty, we're just venting about life and just how difficult it can be sometimes. But you know what? You know what's a relief from life sometimes? Watching YouTube videos, especially YouTube videos that we enjoy. And we enjoyed the hell out of Imarichu's uh, Childhood Crushes 1. And we're going to dive head first into uh, Childhood Crushes 2. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Imarichu, what you got for us? This video is a continuation of my first Childhood Crushes video where I discussed with two friends about their childhood fictional male crushes. So if you end up liking this video mm -hmm. and haven't watched that one yet, I recommend giving it a watch after this one. Today we'll be exploring the girl crush side with Errol's story and Zydus. Hope you enjoy. Listen, Lola Bunny, that doesn't make no. me a furry. No, <laughs> no, listen, no. Listen, 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 Lola I'm listening, okay. I'm listening. You're not gonna make any sense to me, and I'm just gonna call you furry. But go ahead. No, 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 no. What? There, there is a rule on the internet. Okay. Everyone's furry for Lola, and everyone's furry for Crystal. N That's wait, just how it Crystal? works. Crystal? Yes, Crystal from Star Fox. No, I'm not yes. furry for either of them. Oh, you're the exception. <laughs> no, there's plenty of people I know who are disgusted by the Lola Bunny thing. Fair enough. I always thought Lola Bunny was pretty sexy looking. But, you know. I didn't. I was just like, oh, hey, if, if bunny. bunnies didn't have some sort of sexualized thing to them, there wouldn't be Playboy Bunnies. Okay, bunnies. you want to know where it all starts? There wouldn't be you, Playboy you wanna Bunnies. You want to know where it all starts? It all starts from a character who's not even a bunny, Jessica Rabbit. Mm -hmm. That's where it all starts. That's literally like the, the beginning, middle, and end. Jessica Rabbit is patient zero of this whole Lola Bunny, you know, like, like, bunny, like, obsession thing. Even though she herself is not a rabbit, her last name is Rabbit. It, mm. And to think, that movie came out on the day I was born. The Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, my God. Anyway. You're not a furry, okay? Lola Bunny's an exception. Everyone knows that. Okay? No! I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of everyone being called a furry when they're into Lola Bunny. But Lola Bunny <laughs> is top tier, okay? okay? But didn't you <laughs> also have a crush on Roxanne from the Goofy movie and she is an anthropomorphic dog? <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's too much. That's I'm trying two. to say me as a furry. I don't like it. Okay, listen. There's there's only two exceptions. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that bullet too. I'll take two bullets. <laughs> oh my god! I okay, is Roxanne from friggin' the Goofy movie another exception that you'll accept? I don't agree with that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. But I have heard the everyone's furry for Lola and everyone's furry for Crystal. Thing. Also, another one that I heard. Uh, what's her name from Sonic? Uh, Sad AM. Uh, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, it was a. Um, Princess. Oh, the princess girl. Yeah, yeah the, I don't really agree with that one either. I don't either. And again, I, no, not hating on furries. I have friends who are furries. I mean, literally, like I have one that came to our booth every year, and we would just sit there, and he would just like go on and on. He's like, I just want to seem like I'm, I'm, I'm scary, but I'm also cute at the same time. And I'm like, okay, cool. You're failing at both. Yeah. <laughs> I just want, now that I've seen ha or Hell of a Boss, I want to walk up to him. Flash, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you at the next convention. I'm going to walk up to you, and I'm just going to be like, hey. it's like, get your hands off of me. I know you're a pervert under there. And he'll just be like, he'll just be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, scary and cute to me at the same time is like a lesser Sunda Islands pit viper. Oh my god. Because you know the thing could murder your face, but it's really pretty, and it's kind of cute. <clears throat> but that's a literal it's thing, a little dude. little danger like, noodle. You know? Like, for me, when I see some furries, I'm just like, mm, People I, can't be, like, scary and cute at the same time. I just don't work out the same way. You, you try and tell people this, but they don't want to listen. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I just, <laughs> I just want, you know, people out there who, who are too afraid to admit that they like Lola Bunny because they're going to be called a furry. I'm there for you. Wait, okay, question. I'm a sponge, I'll take it. Were you one of those people who had a crush on Nala from The Lion King? No. Hell no. Oh, you got really? <laughs> dude, that's, all right. I'm sorry, dude. You just you out, are a furry. You are a furry. You outed yourself as a furry. Yeah. One strike. Okay. 
two strikes, teetering, three strikes, you're over the line, you're a furry. Well, see, to an, to an extent, like, anthropomorphic is understandable because they have proportions of a human person. Fair. Okay, you see, I'm willing to but, relent like, on that. Nala's just straight up a fucking cat. Yes! Like, why do you want to fuck a cat? Like, no. A lion, no less, that could literally rip you limb from limb. Bruh. <laughs> All right, we gotta change the topic to anime titties because I'm getting black. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I feel nothing like wrong with anime boy titties. <coughs> oh, that again, nothing wrong with anime titties. It's like my catchphrase so. on the channel. You know yes, what? it is. I, I feel I've noticed. I'm making that a like shirt. A popular... You know what? I've already started the wheels running on uh, on certain kinds of merch coming from us. What's merch you all want to see? Y'all want to see some merch? Let us know. All right, let us know with like comments down below. You know, just fucking shower us with merch ideas, guys, because I'm in the mood to make some merch. Yeah, he's apparently aggressively in the mood to make some merch. You want to know why? Because I want I want people out there wearing Renegade stuff. You know, we have shirts of our own, and, and I would be wearing it right now, but it's currently in the laundry right now. But uh, we do have the, the first shirt we ever did, which, you know, Wyndham did the art for, which was awesome. But what other ideas do you all want to see? I mean, I know that Nick's got the whole, ain't nothing wrong with anime titties. I mean, and I'm just going to have a picture of Nick just going, like, yeah, exactly. I think that'd be perfect. Yeah, and then just right below, just like the quotation. Girl crush he needs to have some anime titties around Winry? Winry! Oh, Winry Rock Bell, yeah. Win uh, say what? I said it needs to have, like, anime titties on it, though. Right, as well. It'll have it on the back. Yeah. It'll have it on the back. Oh, FMA is oh, such a good one! Oh, oh, Winry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, here's Winry's alright. So oh, it's almost the same. I Oh I'm not a oh. woman. But, but what? But her Wait no, her mechanic outfit though? What that the fuck you're not Winry guy? Hawkeye? Hawkeye? You're not, not with you're not, you! What do you mean? Reza <laughs> Hawkeye! Reza Hawkeye was supreme over Whoa, Actually wait, oh, that's a hard that's not. that's a hard statement. Uh, I was gonna you say you're the be one careful. weirdo that's like never got into full metal alchemist. Well, no, here's the thing. I like both Riza and I like Winry. I think both of them have their benefits. I think Riza is a... Okay. I'm saying this in the most like poetic way I've heard it being said. That woman is a bitch that is down with, with Mustang. She will die for him. She will literally jump headfirst into a pit of the most dull... Rusty blades and die the slowest death for that man. And then, of course, there's Winry who would do the same like, for I, Ed. Like, I'm gonna say this incredibly poetic. And what? Then, like, proceeds to call her a bitch. <laughs> I mean, well, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Her attitude, dude. Like, she has permanent resting bitch face. Like, everyone who's a fan of her admits this. She has resting bitch face. But you know what? It's an admirable quality with her because she is a badass in her own right. Dude, she is a crack shot. She's tough as nails and she's loyal. She's very loyal. And then of course there's Winry who is smart as a whip, who is always down to like help you out if you're in a pinch and basically is also very tough but not a trained killer like Riza. Riza is a literal, like if I had to pick someone in a fight Riza all day, but Winry, mm, Winry, I, she's got, she's got the brain. She's got the brains over the brawn. Anyway, sorry. You kill me. What do you mean I'm killing you? Do you know what Reza Hawkeye did for this season? She Are saved the MVP me? fire boy, dude. <laughs> she <laughs> did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you not the confession scene. Oh, shit. Okay, that's, a, that's a really good point. But, no, no. I got, I I'm Reza Hawkeye. <laughs> she's just <laughs> sipping and enjoying the conflict. <laughs> You're making me angry. Uh, she's okay. What do you mean she's okay? <laughs> she's too obsessed with Mustang. Bro! No, she devoted she's to no, she's devoted she's devoted devoted him. She's him because God, of what he devoted. did. I don't, I don't she's know devoted. I, that was Winry, though. <laughs> so you can't call that a con. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, because every interaction she has on the show is just like, What's up, Mustang? What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you what, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, she keeps Mustang from making big mistakes, like fighting Scar in the rain. Oh, hey, we're out in the rain. Ignition cloth, no work. Mustang, what are you doing? Damn it. And then she has to save his ass again and again and again. And then he saves her ass. It's It works together. Dude, mm, sorry. 
Mustang. Nice job, old Mustang. Nice job, old Mustang. <laughs> Whatever he's just chilling. What do you mean? Oh my she's god! She's working on her talents. She's working on her mechanics at home. You know, taking care of grandma. She's doing other things. Bro, oh, talk to oh, my... she's in the military, dog. She's a sniper. What? Yes. Emily, did you talk about the Inuyasha series uh -oh. in, your, in your last video? No, I wasn't really into it. Oh, really? What okay. What kind of girl are you, man? Okay. I was gonna say Songo from Inuyasha. She's a badass. Yeah, the boomerang? Songo? No. Yeah. Yes. She's a badass. She had the she had red eye makeup. It was pretty hot. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad. I was so ready to geek out about Inuyasha. <laughs> Starfire's older sister, yeah. Oh, oh my god, no! Darkfire? Really? <laughs> he does have a sister when she was complex. First introduced, I was like, oh my god, it's Starfire. But not like a nice girl. And her hair is black. Big titty goth GF. <laughs> Big titty goth GF. I was just always all about Raven when that the series came out. I thought Raven was cool. I mean, honestly, I mean, me, I don't know. How old was I when Teen Titans started? I was like, gosh, it was 2004? Was it 2004 when it started? Damn it. I don't remember. Hold on. Hold on. Research. Research real quick. Don't worry. I'm not going to look up anything weird. Rule 34. No. I'm joking. I'm joking. Joking. Teen Titans TV series. Okay. Started in 2003. Okay. So 2003 to 2006. 2003, I was 15. So yeah. They were about the age range where I'd, I would consider them, like, I, I don't know, I guess it was, I never really had, like, a crush on anyone in Teen Titans. I mean, I like Raven. Raven's cool, though. Also, she had probably the most memeable line of the entire series, evil beware, we have waffles. <laughs> Love that line so much. It's just so random. So that she was featured, like, she tried to, like, take robin yeah the one. yeah she and did. I think that just that just awoken something in me even further dude i was like oh my gosh she's so assertive what what are some older series but before the <laughs> 2000s died is that what like what girls awoke something within you when i was in the crib <laughs> sailor sailor venus oh venus i love oh i remember you're gonna say more wait, 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 wait. Fuck you guys <laughs> i'm not predictable <laughs> Wait, so I was a Mars guy. Didus was... I'm a Venus. I think when I was Man. a kid, my favorite was Jupiter. Yes! No one was? Yes! <laughs> Every two, you win! I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. I gotta, I gotta put that... I gotta, I'll have to add that back in. Sorry. First... How could you disrespect Jupiter like that? I, I'm Jupiter. not into ponytail. That's probably why. How does nobody what? have any Jupiter love for Mercury? Is I know. I'm not a ponytail guy. I'm Dude, sorry. the athletic girl aesthetic. No. You want to know what I love? You want to know what I love the most? The show is called Sailor Moon, but yet she is the least popular out of the entire Sailor Scouts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Not at all. Like no. in the dad cap with the ponytail coming out the... That's like honestly one of the hottest things uh, that you could ever do. The I am. Cap with the ponytail sticking out. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> right. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got, I got, I, I have a, I have a topic for us. Okay. 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 okay who? Okay. Pokemon. Wait, wait okay. No, hold on. Let's I was an Officer okay. Jenny. Careful here. You like Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny better? Nurse Officer Joy. Jenny. Oh. Wow. Was, I'm a nurse split. Joy. Well, I was probably Nurse Joy. If I'm ah, like okay. I like both. I, I would say Joy as but well. But honestly, like as a but, kid, as a kid, I was way more into like Misty and Jesse. Well, no, no, that's so. fair. But as but thinking objectively on those two, I would probably say, um, I like Nurse Joy. Now as an adult, I'm just Jesse, obviously. So. No, that's fair. That's hundred percent fair. Um. I would also say uh, that one uh, that one, uh, when they were on the islands, uh, what's her name? She was one of the elite four in the game, but they made her like one of the these uh, trainers on the island that Tracy stayed behind at in the when they I forget I forget her name. Damn it, it's gonna kill me now. But I remember seeing her in the show, and I was just like, red hair, she looking good, and she's always wearing a bikini year round. Okay, I'm down. I'm down. Sign me up. It's like uh, now she's an adult, and as an adult now, like she would be my number one pick. When they went to the uh, Cerulean Gem too, one of Misty's sisters is pretty. Cute ah, that's there. right. Yeah, 
Um, if I had to pick between Nurse Joy and uh, and uh, an officer, uh, but I would say Joy, but I wouldn't be against Jenny either. I mean, honestly, you know, chick who knows how to take care of herself, and honestly, you know, in terms of Roy Mustang talking, it's like all the officers will wear tiny mini skirts. All the female officers. Sorry. Okay, I'm biased. I like pink. Oh, yeah, that's same. true. Mm, she's that's literally like Sakura. she was like built to attract Emily. Wait, you were into Sakura? Yes. I mean, Naruto? I'm gonna get more. What? Like, Why? Why? Is better than Hinata. Because Hinata's useless. Oh, Hinata is useless. Are you kidding me? Boy, like, we need to talk. She pulls out like the life fist. And, oh my god. Oh my Sakura, god. at least you can put up a fight, dude. And, and she's as strong as she's Not until like fucking right. ship it and she can't. Took her forever to have any what kind of use to her. Who? Sakura. Sakura, Sakura yeah. was like dead useless for the entire first like Yeah, I was about to say, I was about to say, if you were going to say Hinata was useless all the way up to, I'm like, dude, no. No, Hinata like was just like, she was put in a situation where it was just unfair for like the one fight we even saw. Yeah, that's And it fair. was like a fate type thing. It was not even like a, her being useless. It was just due to the upbringing of the two houses, she was in an unfair fight, essentially, against someone who was more experienced and had a more refined set of powers than hers, and they were a matched power. Also, not only Meaning, that, obviously, he's gonna fucking win, so... Well, yeah. And also, don't and forget... And she put up a good Neji. fight anyways. So. Also, don't forget, man, Neji... Neji's cold. Like, Neji. if, if, if Hinata was to just straight up one-on-one -on -one fight Sakura at that point in the series, oh. I have 100% faith that Hinata would have whooped Sakura's ass. Hinata with her, with her trigram palm? Absolutely. You know, just basic skills alone. Like, Sakura without, would have been even in without the Byakugan. fucking hospital. <laughs> Dude. Uh, but Neji, also don't forget, man, Neji had a reason to fight. He was, like, dedicated to, like, what he wanted. And... And Hinata was like completely confused on what she wanted. But either way, yeah. Either way, it's all wrong because Tamari is best girl. So, unpopular opinion, maybe. Mm -mm. But that's just... here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will give you that. She's top three. Mm. I've gone so back and forth. Sakura is like both obnoxious early on and a kind of a bitch. Eno's definitely a bitch. Yeah. Hanato's really shy but pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Tamari, uh, ten ten. So you you do have uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, sixth Hokage lady is it sixth? Fifth. Fifth. Sonate. Yeah, Sonate. So you got Sonate, Tamari, ten ten. Or, oh, oh, wait, no, no, not 10. Uh, you're naming your tops. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and I would say... Uh, what's her name? Uh, damn. Uh, the the one <clears throat> teacher that has the... Uh, the red eyes? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Sarah Toby's woman. I forget her yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cigarette Sensei was dating her. I was, <laughs> That's right. I, I was really, really sad for uh, her whenever he passed away. Uh, obviously, in, just in addition to being hurts, sad dude. for myself because that, Cigarette Sensei is the best. That shit still hurts. Yeah. Well, anyway. he, he's the second best, obviously. Kakashi's the best. But Fair. Uh-oh. Uh That's Chad. Hold on. Hello? All right. Coming to get you. All right. Be right, uh, be right up. Ah. Uh. Are we just going to bring Chad into this? I guess so. Hold the phone, everyone. Be right back. So we're in the midst of talking about chicks from Naruto. Chicks from Naruto. Nick, who let him back into the house? I think it was you, actually. There's enough space under the door. Oh. Oh, you're yeah. like a cat. You just so you, you squish weren't, up you under there. You wriggled your way in. Yeah, I'm actually a ditto. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I ate their own kind of mushrooms and, you know, kind yeah. of like Eve with the apple. I get that. Cool. Okay, fair enough. But Accept it. Yeah, I, I do accept <laughs> it. So, yeah, Chad, what this is is uh, Childhood Crushes. We're watching an Emery Chew video, which, uh, you know, you have uh, you got introduced to Emery Chew not too yes, long ago. Yes, and <clears throat> Nikki has the funniest childhood crushes of all fucking time. Hers You'll have to ridiculous. watch these with her. And let her, like, gush. Oh, dude. 
Just let her go. Hers are pretty embarrassing. Yeah, that's on her. <laughs> if she wants to, that is. Me, I've talked about it. I mean, hell, they brought up Lola Bunny earlier, and I was just like, no. And Nick's just like, Nick's like, yes. And I'm like, wait, what? Dude. <laughs> the dude's point was really like, I'm not a furry, but Lola Bunny's pretty hot. And I'm just like, I agree. Like, it's... <laughs> Like, there's literally a rule on the internet. Everybody's furry for Lola, and everybody's furry for Crystal from Star Fox. You remind me of that one guy that I saw on uh, on Reddit. Uh, it was an anime discussion about... It, I was looking up new anime to watch for, like, I think it was summer of last year. Mm -hmm. And one of them was a show called Hige Hero. And I'm just like, I haven't really heard anything about this, so I'll look up some, like, info on Reddit, see what people think. And one of the first responses that I see... First of all, let me state, I'm not a pet. But um, and then all that's of a sudden, the comment how it started. That is how his whole thing started. Here's the thing: if you state something, and then you add "but" right after, you just nullified what you said before. I know, I know. So, and I'm here's and, the thing. But that's the joke. I was I was just joking. With the you. way you word this, I am not a furry, just because that I think Lola Bunny has some attractive features. Okay, that's a better way to word it. But anyway, um, the, from that alone, I was just like, I'm not going to watch Higay Hero. Just the, That guy just left a bad taste in my mouth. Just Oh, no, not that guy leaving a bad taste in your mouth. I know. It, it, oh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Dude. I was just like, they're just like, no, nah, I'm not going to watch it. And then a friend of mine who I trust with anime recommended it to me. I watched it. It was all right. It was okay. Bro, but I, I just can... burnt the forest down before I stepped in here, and that is way too much just happened. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit uh, some of that, because I know YouTube doesn't sorry, like that word. Second, <laughs> Thank God. I need some breaks. It's too much gas as soon as I sat down. <laughs> I smoke half a drink, and it's just like... <clears throat> fucking God, furries cause... and... <laughs> God damn. Is this Info Wars? Did I just warp? <laughs> Did I just fucking warp to Texas all of a sudden? When did Alex Jones get an afro? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Shit's crazy, man. It's like how I felt the first time I watched an episode of B-Stars. Bro, I, I was high as hell. It just sat down and just started doing my thing, you know, watching anime, just chilling. And I had no idea what this was. When I think of these animal people and shows and everything, I'm thinking about, I guess, you know, the first shit I was ever introduced to that had that kind of shit going on was like Sui Coden and like Final Fantasy, you know, like having yeah furry creatures and anthropomorphic shit. Anthropomorphic human Yeah, animals. and Disney shit, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. then you just sit down, you watch Beastars, and you're just thinking, bro... These animals are hoeing out and doing all this shit. It's mm -hmm. fucking uh, it's disgusting. Trips me out. Not, not to the to the point of me like just trying to throw shade on anything. It's just not what you're ready for when you randomly watch a show. I'll say that. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna have to edit a few <laughs> things out of there, and I'm sorry about that. But um, anyway, yeah. So uh, Emery Chu, childhood crushes too. Let's get back to it before you know. We've already gone 35 minutes on this video, and we've only watched five minutes worth of this damn thing. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all made me laugh so hard, you about knocked the lung loose. So I screamed, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, no. I, oh, my God, I love Hinata, dude. I do, too. Okay, Hinata do I like life. Hinata better, but no, I no, I like it better. Please, I want to hear it. Please explain. What? I don't, it's, it's a feeling in my heart, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what, isn't that well, what this is, is all because, about? Is it, no, listen, is it because... It's, it's not like, because she has fish She's a dude's sister, okay. dude, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's it We've oh, discovered no, that I this dude time. has the older sister. Yeah, oh, the middle Jane list. Of, uh, I'm tired of that. He also seems no, to like okay, girls with darker hair. Okay. What? He also seems to like girls with darker hair. Because he picked Mars. He's like, I'm not predictable. You know, like... Sailor Mars. Yeah. Uh, they also discussed like the Sailor Moon uh, crushes earlier. Every single one of the Sailor Scouts has been named as like crushes. Except mine. No, you named yours. You well, named I them. named mine, but nobody else ever names mine. Bro, they all annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> that yeah. whole show pissed me off. <clears throat> but what I found the funniest is that like every Sailor other Mercury Sailor Scout was named, the main Sailor Scouts, 
except for Sailor Moon. Yep. I found true, that absolutely true, yeah. hilarious. I think the villains from Sailor Moon were cooler than any of the main characters. Abby's going to be real sad when she sees anyway. this video and realizes that. <laughs> Sorry, Abby. <laughs> they put her in a big dress, and then they reveal her in a tank top, and it's like it was over. It's over from there. Jane was all right. It's like a little tease. Uh, Jane was all right. I, I can't get behind Jane. Why they She's have, pretty hot. They have mm-hmm. strict dress code rules. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders. Shoulders. Wait, uh-huh. do you like Tarzan? You think he's hot? Um, <laughs> I mean, bro, bro's ripped. He was my type. But yeah, I liked Aladdin. He was pretty. Yo, you liked Aladdin? Pretty. Uh, Jasmine that was pretty, too. That makes me so too. happy. Jazz, wow, Jasmine, uh, again, I, had, I have a tier list of Disney ones. And everyone and no one can ever guess what my number one is. Here we go, man. No, like do you know? <laughs> no, no. Do you know? Do you know what like my number one is? A what? wild guess. Uh, grumpy. <laughs> you like him hard to get. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was going to say probably Cinderella. No. Okay. Not, she's not even top ten. What was it? The teapot from the Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> So, my, <laughs> mine's kind of weird, no, but it's like... Fill them holes. Uh, I, I the never gla- know how I feel about mine just lips. because it's like, you know, a mermaid, but, like, Ariel was always mine. Ariel was yours? Yeah. You know who mine is? She's in one of the more, uh, like, unpopular Disney films. Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame. God, dude, my but brain. Why? Actually, now that, like, the newer stuff has come out and everything, <laughs> I gotta say, uh, the aunt from Big Hero 6... Cass, are you serious? Yeah. That's a, oh god, dude, yeah. that meme will not die. Yo, it needs to go. <laughs> I'm done with the Aunt Cass memes all over the place. She what? <laughs> Chad, Chad, you just you just gotta you just gotta take Ariel off the fucking list, man. Sorry, well, you know that fishy ass bitch ain't passing the smell test. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I happen to be sort of a connoisseur of sushi and seafood myself, so, you know. (laughs) Yeah, fair, okay. Doesn't really bother me that much, I guess. But I like Esmeralda because, you know, again, that dance, that voice. And also, she stood up for people who, you know, were downtrodden and, dude, you know, is... Anyway, anyway, back back to this. Repping brown boys, dude. (laughs) Wait, Shang, though? For real? Shang? Them back muscles. Yes! Shang versus a lot. Oh, dude, I gotta go with Shang. <laughs> Wait, okay, I just realized. I would say he's the better fighter. Crushes, but... oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. Stay on it, Datus. I mean, all Disney girls are pretty hot. I mean, Esmeralda is the hottest. Ooh! Girl. Yes! I actually haven't seen that movie. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're physically hurting him. Esmeralda wins though. The gargoyles were the shit. Launch. That's what my cat's named after. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a cat. He has a cat now named Launch. Yes. Nice. Because it also does this randomly. Transforms and tries to kill you. Just like all of a sudden, just all of a sudden, you just hear. And you're just like, oh shit! Everything will run. Everything will be straight, and then you're just walking through the hallway and like off the back of the couch onto your body (laughs) for no reason. Yeah. Then when she turns blonde or something, she goes nuts. Yeah. Does yeah, she have two names? She was Can hot. She? she was fire. Stop. Oh my god! Sorry. Android 18. Nick. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. 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 No, you can't do it. Android 18? Oh my god. <laughs> nah. She's alright. She's alright. Yo, Bob cut? That. Oh. Bob cut icon. I agree, Bob. Oh my god. Cut. Our top tier. And like the I'm type of girl that's Nikki like, has like, Android 18 you, energy for sure. Really... Yeah, that, I've mentioned it no, to that her. Right there, that face. Yeah, I, I've that, mentioned Nikki's it. Nikki's had that face before. She's she's got that resting like Android face. Uh, yeah, she has resting bitch face. Sometimes. I wasn't gonna say it. No, she I has wa- said I wasn't it before. Gonna say it. She has said it before. But it's like, yeah, she definitely has Android 18 energy and Bulma and launch energy, all three combined into. And Chi Chi energy sometimes too. I mean, honestly, so it's she's like not, well, I shouldn't say she's not a mother because you know Shorty and Launch. Well, she gets after everybody <laughs> like that, even at the house. You all included to a point. That's true. Like, she did. The, the she thing had that the Chi Chi always is, it's like I get the air of like she loves you so much, she terrifies you sometimes. Right. Kind of. That's um, fair. Yeah, she has that energy. Nikki has a lot of Dragon Ball female energy. Well, I know she dressed up as Bulma that one year. She had. That was she awesome. had blue hair. 
like yes. legitimately had blue hair. And I'll share a picture of that. And hey, post production Nate, if you don't remember this, I will break your toes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to this. Cares about you. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, oh my Imagine god. Imagine if you were Krillin, man. Yeah, dude, I actually... Imagine. You know who's the strongest character in Dragon Ball Z? It wasn't Goku, it was Krillin, my dude. dude he just gave up martial arts, he's like... He, he wiped like, up Android 18. <laughs> he upgraded in life. Dude, I want to be Krillin. Krillin's the best. Like, I'm, I'm done fighting world-ending threats, I'm just going to bang this hot Android lady. <laughs> Real, well, okay. Well, I guarantee you when Krillin was like in the cell saga, he's just like, this is probably going to be my last, uh, my last hurrah. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to go out on a win. Yeah. Android 18, I want to go out with you. Sorry. It's like when people shoot buzzer baiters in basketball. It's like, this is the last second shoot my shot. I was going to yeah. say, it's like, Wherever I'm at. it's like Jordan 98 against the Wizards. And somehow he got a swish. Oh, nailed it. He, he, big time. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you're saying? Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you guys watch the show because I'm such a... A weeb degenerate, but uh, Code Geass, Callan. <laughs> what? Dude, Code Geass? I have, fire. I've seen it. I've only seen like the first like three Callan episodes. Or the uh, the green haired chick, dude. C two versus Colin. Oh, oh definitely God. the green haired chick. Colin, Colin is my girl, dude. But Colin, Code Geass, I'm okay with. I, I thought it was an alright show. Maybe I need to watch it again and like really. Like just let myself over. From what it. I gather, when I watched it, I was skeptical as a son of a bitch. Well, from what I gather, it's like one of those things where it kind of starts off like it's going to be one of the really good mech animes, but it's kind of just more in the middle of the road. Mm. So I fair. Know. I watch We're, stupid shit nobody likes, so I don't. <laughs> like what? Ghost Hunters. That's there's nothing wrong with that, <laughs> dude. Ghost Hunters English dub is fucking gold. Yeah, I thought it was funny. It's hilarious. It's like, it was like, I remember, I remember our evening so well. I remember his laugh. <laughs> it's like, it was like, I remember petting him. Touch me. It's like, I remember petting him more. Touch me more. <laughs> like, I've started God watching dang. Gintama recently. Which one? Gintama. Oh, Gintama. It's, yeah, you wanted to watch that. It's cracking me up because it doesn't take itself seriously at all. It makes fun of itself. Yeah, those are my favorites. I, yeah, it's the I part where the he's like, like uh, one punch they're man. like, you barely held him off for five seconds. He's like, do you have any idea how hard it is to make a whole minute of anime? <laughs> <laughs> hard as fuck, man. It is. I mean, honestly. It is. Hard as uh, fuck. It's like uh, Golden Boy, which it goes over the top quite a few times, but... It does not take itself seriously in the slightest, and it is hands down one of my favorite comedy animes of all time. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Ah, that was great. Yeah, I love Tucker and Dale versus. That Evil. kind of humor is just fucking hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, back to this. Oh, I got this. You got the, uh, the uh, attributes. Damn. You know, for God's they sakes! <laughs> Stop showing off all this cheesecake. We're gonna get Ellie, demonetized. Sorry, sorry, we just like we just like jumped into it. Like, no, I'm sorry. I didn't. Ellie, you need to watch Kogi. Yes. Yes. Stop trying to force yes. shit on her. Let her discover it on her own. Emily only watched like car captures and cars. Yes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what? Tokyo, pew, pew, pew. Oh my god. Don't come for my neck. Don't come for my neck. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. <laughs> that was the counter punch to the furry comment. Wow. I guess in 2003, I was literally in kindergarten. <laughs> Wait, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> You're only like two years older than me. I know, but. Yeah, are you looking down on me as a second grade? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, here's another thing. Oh, god. And bleach? Oh, bleach. There's a lot of women in bleach yeah, that bleach a lot of dudes are fond over. For sure. I know. There's a lot of people who fond over Rukia. I didn't get that. Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of Rukia. How about like, people who shipped Rukio with Ichigo I was just like it it, it, it it needs a lot of character development before I could see that happening. It, it, people and I just don't see it happening because she's like four, fucking like three hundred fifty years old. He's like how not how only years that, old, but like not only that, but it I just never saw it even from the beginning when a lot of people said, but that's the but that's the but that's the 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 relationship that's what holds the show together. I'm just like no. I, in truth, when I whenever those conversations were in the they were really in it, like the I was just entire, like go ahead, go away. Go away. Almost the, the entirety of like the best arc in the anime is like fueled by like him trying to rescue Orihime because Oh, that's, that's like a, that's a great crush, arc. But, yeah. You know? But again, Orihime, Rangiku, uh oh gosh, and uh oh, what's her name? Uh the cat. 
I forget her name. Well, the one uh, mm. of the... Um, I already forgot what they're called. It's the Spanish word. Dude, I'm trolling the, Espada, the Discord. Uh, the one Espada girl that has, okay. like, the underboob, like, I believe... Wait, which she either one? has under boob or side boob. I can't remember which. But there's wait, which? There's an Espada chick that's pretty fucking hot. Mm, I don't care. And then maybe uh, they'll talk about her here. I mean, I, let's let's take a look and see. Yeah, we'll see. Yo, Rukia, Bleach, Rukia, no. yeah, no, no, yeah, no, Rukia, no. man. Bleach is a lot of big three. I what up? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bleach. I am the only one. Hey, <laughs> I tried watching Bleach and I couldn't get into it. I got bored. Okay, so Bleach is a dead topic. Um, okay, Naruto. Oh, I don't know. You already like talked about Naruto. Naruto. You already. Yo, I you didn't uh, like Sasuke? I thought Rock. all females like Sasuke. He was rude. No. Yeah, I, I thought girls like the bad boys. Not like that. What's yeah. wrong with Sasuke? All he wants to do is kill his brother. Wait, so then you must have loved And Naruto. Naruto. Yeah? And, yeah, so yeah, and Sakura. Sakura. Right? Come on, every girl loves to touch. Yeah, no. I, no. What? <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 I'll defend, I'll defend I don't think Gamerichu appreciates these unfair stereotypes. Yeah, that, that's what? kind of a deal-breaker. What? You can't make exceptions? <laughs> can I? He murders the entire club, but at least he's a phenomenal a cook. Again, if, if yeah. you'll allow me to. Do you Please. remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Do you remember Mirage from The Incredibles? Oh my god, really? Uh, no! no! She looks like a frog, back. kind of. Huh? She looks like a frog, kind of. Mm, for me, like I don't her, know. Her eyes definitely have some frog shit Dude, going on. Miss Incredible. Dude, Miss Incredible just... I know I know. Mr. Incredible would literally in the sequel turn, that twist. she was thick. Huh? That's I especially noticed in the sequel that Miss Incredible. Oh no, I knew she was thick when I watched the first film, dude. Because when I watched the first film, I was sixteen, and I was just like, "Damn, that ass." What? I mean, honestly. <laughs> and also, don't get me wrong, Holly Hunter, her like her voicing Miss Incredible was also a, a, a plus as well. But anyway, sorry. Hey, girl, with white Wait, hair. I feel that. I really life. liked her voice. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's up? Mrs. Incredible. Ah! Yeah. 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 See, but don't oh, we get to Evangelion? Thick. Yeah, I can. Okay, no. Okay, you gotta be careful about Evangelion. That's. Mm. It's like all those chicks are 14. Well, here's the thing when it came out, we were all like. I think eight or nine years old. Well, see, that's the thing with a lot of these, too. We're talking about childhood crushes. So fair, it's... fair. Um, I was going to say, even in the show... I, I didn't was, see like, Evangelion it, until I was way of I, age. I so. would say Misato, dude. Like, Misato Katsuragi. Yeah. She was, like... And, well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Emily? She's a badass. <laughs> <ass. laughs> I never watched Evangelion. This is literally... A, I never watched that compilation. Oh! I just remember something, guys. Although, I feel like... I was How about you ask Emer Emery, Emily, uh, you know, hey, Emily, what are some of the anime that you have watched? Like, uh, do that. Watch this. What? Gundam Seed? I, mm. I didn't like Mecha anime. Let's go, Gundam Seed! Oh, let's go! Wow. Oh, wow. oh Emily, Julie, Emily, 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 they're so pretty! They're, they're, they're so pretty! Gundam. The it's guys are so pretty in Gundam. Gundam Seed. I don't like Mecha. We should just make Emily watch Gundam Seed. Okay, okay, that reminded me of something, guys. That's rough, buddy. Is that ringing any bells for anybody? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The last airbender? That's rough, I was like, Terry! What the f- <laughs> What the f- <laughs> You didn't watch this video? Can we have this video? That's funny. <laughs> it really is. I haven't Ellie, watched you, that. Ellie, you watched none of that. <laughs> you watched none of what me and Dice can talk about. Although I do hear Zuko was hot on the market. Hey. Yeah, but you didn't watch. <laughs> Wait, can I guess which girls from that show you guys liked? Oh, that's such a good idea. I'm gonna guess yeah. Arrow wait, wait. into Azula. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nailed it. Ah, uh, did I get it? I, I you know why? You know why? why? I was pretty into Crazy Girls, bro. <laughs> It's, it's because it's Zuko's sister. <laughs> the sister complex again. I, I know which one that I would have been about as a kid, most likely. Would probably have been Azula's friend. Tylee? Uh, not Tylee. May? Really. May, yeah. Yeah. 
The goth girl, of yeah, course. Of course. Nick Nick goes for the goth girl. Why, why am I not surprised? Leave me alone. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast I'm gonna cast Dyson into into Toph. <laughs> Wait, wow! <no! laughs> well, not only that, I see this too is between Azula too. Dias, did you like Azula's like teammates, like Ty Lee and May? Oh yeah, dude, I like the, the girl that does. That's the nice girl. <gasps> I like, love the one with the braided ponytail. They did really the cheesecake Ty Lee in the swimsuit episode. Well, that's the thing. That's what Ty Lee is meant for. Ty Lee, her her main thing is she allures you in, thinking she's not a threat, and then next thing you know, pressure point, pressure point, pressure point. Next thing you know, you're a quivering mass on the floor, just like ready for like someone to come along and snap your neck. That's basically her deal. Some women are good at using that. I mean... And, the honey pot. Yeah, basically. I mean, uh, the, uh, good reference. Good reference on that, Chad. Really cute. Oh my god, that's so on brand of you, because she's like the airhead dumb... <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a, back, she's a backup girl, right? Yeah, no, no, but she's like, she's like airhead. She's like airhead. She's an airhead, and she's got a good heart. <laughs> that is Emily. Okay, well, whatever series you name next... It doesn't matter because Emily didn't fucking okay. watch it. Wait, hang on, you don't know that. Hey, okay, Emery, okay, wow. you name so a show. Gurren Lagan? Like... Yoko? Yeah, Gurren Lagan, yeah. That? I did not. Did you watch that? <laughs> <laughs> See, even if you ask her, she still names shows she hasn't watched. <laughs> Yoko was fire, though. That sniper rifle. I didn't see it until I was too old. Hey, watch it! And then, like, just eggs, like, the mic just peaks. <laughs> I didn't like the art style. Although, I think she might be of age after the time skip, but I'm not sure. If you want to know the honest truth, they've said that Yoko is actually, for, in the beginning of the show, she's 19. Because how they counted age in her tribe was actually different from how regular people count. Well, see, like, when I watched I mean, it with they, my buddy the Andrew. Lore of the, the lore is, like, the, I think the guy who wrote the, the manga said... Well, I will tell you, this is for sure a series that Andrew has said this about. And, like, he's of the opinion, he's like, if they fucking draw them to look like they're an adult, then I'm not going to listen to you if you tell me they're supposed to be, like, 14. <laughs> like, you know, and, like, so I was like, apparently she's supposed to be, like, 16. He's like, no. No, she's not. <laughs> he just refused. He's like, no, she's 18. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. These motherfuckers don't even exist. <laughs> Exactly. This is true. They don't this is true. They're, they're all, this is all hypothetical. Shonen titles. Like, Shaman King? I hated how that looked. Oh! <laughs> never seen God, Shaman that King. That is, Shit looks did cool, Did you watch bro. Shaman King? Hell yeah. I love Shaman King, dude. I forgot dude. how much I love Shaman King. You guys never are going to me for this. So It just looked like rip off right? of Yu-Gi-Oh to me when I was little, yes. so I never watched it. Say what? It just looked like a rip off of Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger, so I never yeah. watched it. The art style does look a lot like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. Of, it looks a bit of a ripoff, like not a like. Mm, I don't know. And Ren has an older sister. <laughs> God dang it! Of course. And her name is June. I remember that. And she's gorgeous. Damn. Ooh, yeah. you know what I did watch? Make sure I got to give you watch, Emily. Hey, Grassy. <laughs> Igarashi? Is that the murder one? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I love how the art style is so cute and then the story gets so dark. Yeah. Yo, can we talk about the... They actually just remade it and actually a lot of people say the remake is actually better than the What's original. it called? Uh, Higarachi. I need to check it out. Yeah. I it, like murder mystery shit. It's dark. Like, and a bit edgy. I'm just gonna like say that. Like Persona dark? Darker. Persona 3 darker? About that level, yeah. Okay. It's pretty dark. The fingernail scene? No! Oh. Stop! Ugh. Harry Potter. I haven't seen... Hey, <laughs> you haven't seen Harry Potter? <laughs> Wait a minute. Emory 2. Em! I'll tell you what I... Fuck <laughs> off, Emily! <laughs> no, okay. I, watched, I watched the second part of the last Harry Potter. You! <laughs> you! You just spoiled the <laughs> end for yourself? You spoiled the whole scene! yourself what the fuck and let's be real like the first four are where it's at anyway after that it just turns into yeah we're all young adults to adults and now life sucks and there's problems well <clears throat> i'll say this my favorites how how i rank them in my mm -hmm. head 
The third one's my favorite. Yeah. Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. It goes hard as fuck. I love when they bring in Sirius Black. I love the the change in tone from the yeah. first two. Don't the, get me wrong. The, the, the mentors also are good. a really good horror concept. It, yes. Yeah, but the 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 mysterious like wonder and 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 all that shit just is kind of like broken. It's just pretty much into order order of the phoenix. It's like can't trust the government. Can't fuck with nobody. It's like on. Yeah, and I'd say the third one's my favorite. Goblet of Fire, and then yep. I would also say. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. I like, and then I would say also. Also, is it just me, or did she kind of run out of ideas for what wizards and witches would be learning in school? And yeah, like kind of. I feel like, like the school shit years. fell off. Like it does, well, at it, a certain like, point. because it was like a really cool background of lore. Like now this year we're learning this and this and yep. this, and then like later on it just starts to really way less take a back seat to everything else going on. At that point, I would have the kids do like in field work studies. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. like have them go out in the world because you're doing like My Hero solve. Academia, but with like witches and wizards. And yeah, like My yes. Hero Academia does a good job of like, all right, we're solving a real world problem, but now we're back to learning more because we still have much to learn. Mm-hmm. Exactly, you find out where you're weakest in your attributes and you go to school the next year and you take on classes to Yo, get yourself stronger but they still show the fuck out of quidditch <laughs> yeah. sport it's like it is when you get into high school harry potter d- Everybody only cares was about playing the sports, sports. Yeah. so fuck the rest of the- <laughs> yeah yeah F- uh, although i will say this in the third one they did focus on like the chorus class. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. What it's started. like Order of the Phoenix also, is where that shit stops. As a Ravenclaw, I'm vastly offended by the lack of educational wizard and witch material. In this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the I, fifth I, through I mean, I would t- I, actually. They do focus on that a little bit more from like five, <laughs> six, and seven because uh, whenever uh, you know Half Blood Prince, Harry goes to the potions class and he gets that one book mm. that was the property of the Half Blood Prince. Right, which is one of the Horcruxes. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Oh, you love it. Anyway, back to this. But Emery Chu, why would you, Em, why would you spoil yourself? That was some dumb shit right there. That was a bad move. Watch this. Because <laughs> <laughs> my what? friends wanted to see it. All right, gentlemen, I'd like to thank you both for joining me today. Um, You're welcome. But before we end this conversation, I'd like to mention one last thing. What? This what? video is sponsored by Honey. What the? F- <laughs> 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 Honey is a free browser. Oh wait, it's actually. <laughs> it's a, it's an ad read. I want some of this money, dude. Honey is a free browser. Okay, <laughs> and <laughs> at that point, I would mute them and just be like, and mute. Honey is a. <laughs> to the bank. I agree with him. He's like, is wait, I want some honey? of that. Oh, no, yeah, some of that money. Give me some this of the honey money. Is sponsored by Honey. Hey, <laughs> I use Honey. I use Honey all the time. The best promo code. It actually saved me some money so on. Uh, saved me some money uh, on the Tannerite uh, like website. Amazon, Sephora, eBay, oh, and my more. toast. I've actually had oh, really? Honey. I use Honey even before being sponsored. They've right. been letting me and down paint it by and ordering stuff from my cat though. This dress and this romper from Forever Twenty One, and I managed to save four dollars and twenty eight cents. Since I'm looking to refresh my summer wardrobe, it's been super useful in helping me make sure I don't spend more than I need to. Good deal. It only takes like two clicks to install, so if you have time to online shop, you have time to add Honey to your browser. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash emerichu. That's joinhoney.com slash emerichu. Give it a try and start saving extra cash on your online purchases. Thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this video and, of course, for always helping me save a little bit of cash here and there. I'll be including a link to install Honey in the description below, so feel free to check it out if you're interested. <laughs> so this is the longest video I've ever uploaded, and the reason for that is I'll be going to a bunch of conventions back to back in the next month, so I wanted to make sure I posted something substantial before going on my mini vacation. For those wondering, I'll be attending Anime Expo from July 4th to the 7th, VidCon from July 10th to the 13th, San Diego Comic Con from July 18th to the 21st, and Animanga as a featured guest from August 2nd to the 4th. So if you see me at any of these four cons, please say hi. I might vlog, I don't know, I'm not very good at recording things on the spot, eh, so we'll see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. There we go. Y'all wrecked me with that one. So <clears throat> that video, that video is seventeen and a half, seventeen minutes and fifteen seconds long. Our reaction as of right now, one hour and two minutes. 
There's like at least probably 15 minutes you got to chop out the middle. No, well, There's yeah, yeah. Here, so. I, because of us, like uh, me going to open the door for Chad, adjusting everything, grabbing the microphone so that y'all can actually hear him this time. Pooping. Yeah, yeah. You know how it goes. You can, you do that on the run though. So. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like rab himself. It's not one of those things you have to stop for. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> it make my life more convenient if that was actually the truth. Yep. Wow. My, be doing laps problems. around the yard. What are you doing? Nick has the shits. Yep. And next thing you know, it just like, uh, after like the fifth lap around, it just goes, just pops out <laughs> onto the ground. Well, how convenient would it be if you can actually like propel yourself around with it like a rocket? And just like, <laughs> like those deer All right, I gotta go to, yeah, like the, Castle Crash. Like the deer from Castle Crash. Like, All right, I gotta go to the stores. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I like you guys. You guys are all right with me. <laughs> Anybody who makes poop jokes is fun with me. We try. We try Good so hard to book. make jokes fun. But, damn, dude. It's all toilet humor. <laughs> My God, it's all toilet sounds. Easy there, Hank Hill. <laughs> uh, that so. person on your YouTube video has is a medical condition. <laughs> so... Honestly, uh, like childhood crushes. I mean, they talked about some that I related with. Also, Emery Chu, Emery, thank you for uh, admitting that you uh, liked uh, Sailor Jupiter. That's awesome. Uh, Sailor, Ju- Sailor Jupiter was my jam. Annoying ass motherfuckers. I appreciate the reference to Android 18. Because that's that. that yeah, ass. that right there. <laughs> Dude, one of the tyr- the androids turning and becoming good guys was one of those things that just had me shook to my core for a minute. <laughs> I was like, I still do not trust these motherfuckers. <laughs> I still do not trust these I, motherfuckers. I remember, I remember like, oh gosh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. When Android 17, uh, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z abridged? You might, y'all might want to give that a watch on your channel because... It'll get y'all some views, especially where you're uh, Dragon Ball Dragon Ball fans. Well, I, I'm a huge fan. I'll, obviously, I've watched it all, you know, growing up on Toonami is where I got hooked on that mm-hmm. shit. But, like, Nikki, I got into Dragon Ball specifically. She's seen mm-hmm. the first half of, of Dragon Ball. <laughs> so she's familiar with a lot of things, but nothing past, like, the second tournament that they're in, I think. And that's fair. See, I just well, recently uh, finally watched all of Dragon Ball. It's so I've only good. I've seen bits and pieces of it on TV, like on Toonami back well, in the day. It was and on Fox originally before Dragon Ball Z I ever came that. on. It was, it like, cha- really early. It changed early. the way that I viewed the beginning of Dragon Ball Z because I had da, incorrect da, 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 assumptions right. about the dynamic between, like, Goku and Piccolo when Dragon oh, Ball Z started yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't, I didn't, know I didn't, that I didn't realize that they I literally didn't, started the series of Dragon Ball Z on the note of, like, Piccolo fully intending to come back and kick Goku's ass as soon yes. as he thought he was ready to, you know? Yes. Yeah. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, Raditz showing up just completely, like... Fucked everything you up. You know, humbled the shit out of Piccolo. Well, basically. Mm-hmm. well, honestly, like, Dra- or Team Four Star, who do the Dragon Ball Z Bridge, actually did a like top ten shocking like Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Z moments. Mm-hmm. And you know what? One of their like top five picks was what the arrival of Raditz and Goku's origin. Because yeah. think about this: you're an avid reader of Dragon Ball mm-hmm. your entire lo- t- time. You have known that Goku resides on Earth. He's a monkey, but you're not 100% sure of his origins. But you just know that he's the protagonist and that he's a good person. And then Raditz arrives, and you find out, holy crap, Goku's a friggin' alien. Yes. And his older brother is a friggin' asshole. And it's a, and, and that he was sent here to destroy the entire fucking exactly. planet. Yeah. And it just, it's a whole, like, it's like a mind literally fuck. De- turning the world on its head. Mm-hmm. It's like this guy we've been rooting for the whole time was supposed to come here and demolish all of and us. And, dude, let's be real. Master Roshi goes way harder in Dragon Ball than he goes yes, in Dragon he does. Ball Z. Yes, he, he does. That's where I got Dragon my Ball love for goes Master harder Roshi. in a lot of ways. Dude. Yeah, there were no fucks given. No, it's because the comedy had to do that in order to keep it up. But then, all of a sudden, when you get to Z, all of a sudden, the animation picks up. Yes. The fighting, the fighting picks up. It's like the whole thing changed. Well, it, everything changed. people talk about how OP Goku is, but if you look at like how much development there was to get there, 
he took way longer <clears throat> than most characters ever get to be as oh, strong as well, he is. Well, I was going to say, it's like him and Naruto, I think, are like two... And and also also to be honest though, when Luffy. you're watching Dragon Ball, there's not a single person in all of Dragon Ball that hardly gives him a run for his money until Piccolo. Right, like well, he's no, he's, he's already OP well, from the no, beginning of Dragon the beginning, Ball up until he fought Yamcha. Road. He lost to Yamcha. Right, then he comes back and he beats Yamcha. Mm-hmm. And then he fights. Uh, he trains under Master Roshi. Goes into didn't the Yamcha get like a lucky sucker punch on him or something? Though? Well, yeah. Goku was hungry. Goku right. Yeah. He he was. And he and basically Yamcha uses Wolf Fang Fist, knock Goku out, and then he, it wasn't going to happen full power. No, yeah. but then of course, then he fights Tien in the second tournament that Goku was in. Right, and Tien wins on a formality, and then basically then Piccolo comes along, and we see how serious of a villain Piccolo is when he kills basically everybody. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, but he also wasn't like overpowered, I guess, to the point. Like, I mean, Master Roshi, when he fought him as um, uh, Jackie Chan, Jackie, Jackie Chan, Chan you know, yeah, he, obviously the first time he ended up, it was still kind of a tech, technicality to the way that he lost. And it was, but still, Roshi won. And honestly, I think the biggest thing is just the growth that Goku goes through is is honestly one of the longer character arcs because yeah. how many but it's always the Dragon chase there? you know there's like 100 and over 150 oh yeah of dragon ball yeah and then goku finally turns super saiyan in like i think uh, episode one 120 so over 270 episodes of development before he has the big power jump with super saiyan yeah which i mean honestly it was <clears> like you know you're following a character who was still superhuman as a kid yes. yeah he like, was an alien freak all through his growth into an adult so mm-hmm. it's a long period of development of but there are some badass motherfuckers powers. that he has to fight oh yes yeah. and you know a lot of times goku even as strong as he is if it's not for the supporting cast doesn't do shit this is true as well he never would reach you know his super saiyan well form vegeta, t- his his yeah. rivalry with vegeta that pushed him mm-hmm. to the limit because he found out that Vegeta was also going to Namek, and he was just like, I need to train even harder. Because yeah. if Vegeta was that tough, he's got to be at least like this much stronger than me. But this has become a Dragon Ball podcast. At this yeah, point. we need to stop. Cause... And I need to go to my parents' house. So, All right. Well, my everyone out hurts. there, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, this was Childhood Crushes 2 by Emery Chu. If you want to see more from Emery Chu, click your name in the title of the video. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm, I'm Chad. Nate. Oh, sorry, Chad. Right. Skip the cue there. It's a habit, you? man. It's, a it's habit. okay, it's okay. And we'll see you later, everybody. Peace. Ha ha. He can't stop <laughs> It's why he's in the, in the insane <laughs> asylum. Huh? Oh, he's back. What the back to? What the hell? <laughs> I was going to say, man, these undead are all up on that forehead, man. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs>